Well, hey, good morning. It's Saturday morning, going on 7 a.m. Ooh, October 1st already. And the cool weather has hit us here. It's gotten uh, like 10 degrees cooler or more <laughs> in the mornings and in the afternoons. It's in the 50s. Yeah, what am I at? See, I'm wearing this giant shirt this morning. Uh, we used to have, years ago, we had a little sort of hobby farm, and we called it San, Giovan what? San Giuseppe da Cupertino Farm. I haven't seen this shirt in years, but I found it in my closet. I hardly ever wore it. Yeah, I used to fit into this. But, um... I thought, well, I'll wear that this morning. I'd like a nice, big, cozy shirt to put on. Well, anyway, so, yeah, the weather here is, it's like, I don't know, let me see, 55 degrees out there right now. You know, we were accustomed to mornings around 73 degrees for several weeks, and the temperature going up into the 90s. And today, it's supposed to go up to the mid 80s that is still rather warm but boy we're starting off awfully chilly so um this morning okay so i've got my milk that does froth let me get things going hey this this shirt's so big that i i had one of my grandkids little you know hair hairband things so i tied the side of the shirt up Okay, so get out the coffee frother. And I decided this morning, just for fun, okay, let me put in about three and a half ounces of milk. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. You know, if I don't do it now, I'll find it sitting out on the counter later. And I thought, just, you know, for interest, I'm gonna put in one of these little mini moos, some half and half, and see if that extra little bit of fat in there helps the milk to froth up. And let's see, first, uh, well wait, do I wanna froth it first? Let me decide on a coffee. Okay, um, you know, I can't decide, and let me push this out of the way. One of the things that I've done, here we go, is when I get in a sleeve of coffee and there's not that much left, I go ahead and dump it out loose in the drawer. Let's see here, I'm gonna reach back. What is this? Oh, refinada la cumplida. Okay, so I don't really remember anything about it, but yeah, I'm just gonna do one. I'll do one, okay? So I get the machine heating up. I get the coffee frother frothing. I'll pop the capsule in the machine. So here's something serious that I've been thinking about. As I've gotten older, uh, I have found myself more and more on the other side of the generation gap uh, with a growing chasm between me and the side I used to be on. And it's been very worrying and disturbing. Um, you know, I look at things that are going on, hear about things in the world, see things, and I go, what is happening? You know, is, is everybody going crazy? And it was really beginning to get me down. And also, uh, like when I went to Silver Sneakers, uh, when did I go? Yesterday. And I realized there's so many things I just don't seem to be able to do that I could do for most of my life. You know, the physical movements and all. And I was looking in the mirror at myself, cause you know how these rooms are with big long full length mirrors all over the walls. And I'm thinking, this is, this is not really me, this body. I'm, 
I'm inside. Somebody let me out and let me be how I used to be, who I really know I am. Oh, look at that. Ooh, one mini moo made some beautiful froth here. Well, anyway, I was kind of, you know, getting on, like thinking about all the things I can no longer do. And this morning I was thinking about it and I thought, you know what? Instead of thinking about what I cannot do, let me just acknowledge that and think about what I can do. And the things that I see in the world that are so distressing to me. Let me just look. Let me be an observer. Let me say, wow, okay, so this has changed or that has changed. Um, and I'll give you a, a, an example. I was watching this show on Disney Plus last night, um, which I get, I think, because I have a Verizon phone or something, so they throw that in along with your phone. Oh, I need a spoon. Hang okay. on. And it was this show called Supernatural. And no, it's not Supernatural. It's Super. Natural. It's about the natural world, about like animals and things that they can do that have been um, fairly recently discovered. Um, like how flying squirrels actually, um, their tummies kind of glow, um, but it only shows an ultraviolet light and most predators cannot see it. And that helps little tiny flying squirrels find each other in winter so they can gather together and keep warm. And, um, you know, it actually had movies that were videos <laughs> taken with ultraviolet light. Um, so you could see these sort of glowing pink, they were glowing pink tummies. I mean, I never heard of that. And there were a lot of other things, even though I was a biology major in college and I've stayed interested in science and I read, you know, about science and all, but there's so many things that have been discovered. And also there was a lot of life in there where I wasn't keeping up that much with the progress of science because I was busy, you know, raising kids and getting and working and getting into grandkids. And um, anyhow, so now, you know, I was seeing this, I was thinking, I feel like a child again, discovering the world. And I thought, you know what? Let me also discover other changes. Even though I, they may make me uncomfortable, I may not like them. You know, I'll give you an example. Um, and by the way, I'm thinking of reading 1984 again. Those of you who had to read it in school, um, maybe, you know, it might pique your interest to read it again. You know, Big Brother is watching you. But the thing about it that made me um, think I might read it again is Newspeak, which was a way of using language that just wasn't the way people always used it. And I thought about it because here's an example. You know how kids these days, well, not just kids, they're adults that do it too, use the word sick, but it means something really good like, oh, this coffee is sick. You know, when I was growing up, it would mean, ooh, don't drink it. <laughs> but these days, it means it's just super wonderful. I don't like that. But I've decided I do not need to react or respond to everything. There are some things, let me just observe. So if people are using that kind of language, let me say, that's really different than what I grew up with, but this is what they're saying these days. How interesting. And little flying squirrels, tummies glow pink in ultraviolet light so they can find one another in the winter and gather together to keep warm. That's really interesting. And, you know, I think that that's going to be a way for me to keep 
some anxiety away from me. And when I look in the mirror in Silver Sneakers class, I may have to, uh, I'm gonna have to say something to myself. I'm gonna have to say, well, look at you. You've made it this far. You're turning into an old lady. Okay, had to happen sometime, right? So let's do, let me do what I can do. Maybe I can get better at some things, but golly, what good is it gonna do to, you know, get all teary-eyed over? Am I lost youth? <laughs> you know, sometimes if you think about stuff and you look about look at it in a different way, it can change everything. So um, I may not use some of the new speak today. This is not sick coffee. This is just mm, wonderful, yummy coffee. And on this 55 degree morning, I'm gonna go sit and watch the birds wake up and enjoy my coffee. Mmm. And let me just say, eat, oh, this is good. Golly. Even if you're not in my situation, you know, getting older and, and it's kind of a shock sometimes, Anything that bothers you, that you cannot do anything about, maybe consider, you know, once listen to this audio book about, I think it was like a Zen sort of thing, but you know, there's a little bit of truth in everything. Um, and the truth that I found in that book, now as I recall it, was I guess exactly what I'm saying to you. Um, Observe, be an observer of things. Experience whatever you're experiencing. You don't necessarily have to have an opinion on it or um, agree, disagree, react, respond. Just observe. It may lighten the load of anxiety, especially these days. Talk to you later.